Hey everybody, Derb and Axie here, coming at you with a new kind of video. Uh, today, we're going to look at some of these Axies I bred, pop open some of these eggs, see what type of cards we got, uh, and then eventually see what the value of all of them combined are. You know, because here in Axie Affinity, you can breed your Axies and you can actually make some decent money doing it. Uh, all the Axies I have, though, are going to be going to scholarships so that I can help, you know, expand the community, give people some more opportunity, uh, and all these ones I'm going to use to breed again. So it's just going to be an ongoing uh, trend. Uh, most of them I'm going to breed next week once I uh, get my SLP payments and I get some more Axie tokens. As you can see, don't have many of those right now. Um, but I'll have a bunch more here uh, once I can claim some more. Uh, and then another hope is to breed these two axes I got. Once it loads up here. As everybody knows, the servers have been kind of slow. But I got two Dawn axes that are 5 out of 6 for pureness. The breed count is 0. So we're going to be hoping to breed them and then hopefully get a 6 out of 6 dawn bird which will be cool to have because i don't have one of those so let's go ahead crack open all these eggs see what type of axes we got here and then we'll see how much they're worth so let's go ahead and start with this plant egg now the parents of this one both are six out of six so the odds are this egg is also going to be six out of six I think he's a pretty pure plant taxi and we got three of those so crack them open it's gonna take a little bit for them to load so I figure by the time we crack open all these eggs uh, we'll be able to go through and see them all come on back Got a bird egg here. This one is from two five out of six birds, so there's a chance that it could be a six out of six. And I believe that's for most of the rest of these, uh, besides the plants. The plants are all six out of sixes. But I believe the bee axes and the bird axes we're all bred from five out of six. Yep, five out of six. And then they're also uh, different pieces that I decided to breed with uh, just because uh, made a little bit more sense that there isn't a double chance that like a tail pops up or something like that. Kind of spreads the uh, chance for them to get a six out of six out. Five. Look at them, they're already coming in. Keep on morphing them. Uh, the one I saw down there, that plant didn't look like it was a six out of six. I thought that looked like a reptile eye there. Uh, which would mean it had a very, very low chance of something like that popping up. Because that would have been a re recessive gene. Got some beasts. We're gonna upgrade these. Or I guess morph them to adults, open them up. However you prefer. Got one more. These two, five out of five or five out of six. Alright, so we cracked them all open. Let's go ahead and check out what we got. So yeah, just what I thought, a 5 out of 6. All plant cards still, though. Damage, you got the carrots. I mean, he kind of looks cool. The eyes made him look cooler, but he's not a pure 6 out of 6 plant. Just kind of sad, considering I think the two generations before him were both 6 out of 6 plants. So we got one 5 out of 6 plant. 
it would be good for adventure mode and not too bad as a tank. Here we go. Six out of six plants. Very nice. Healing, healing, damage, and of course, uh, the carrot hammer. So it gets an energy. Be great tank for PvP, but this one is definitely very good for PvE. Uh, I have two of these on my PvE team. Uh, just because they can keep their health up uh, you get energy and i mean they can still do a little bit of damage but survivability in pve is really what you're looking for so that's pretty cool i can already tell with this guy that he's a five out of six but he did get a strong card here for attack so he's still going to be a very strong card good dps um five out of six you know we still take those. Uh, we'll use them to breed it next time. Hopefully we get a 6 out of 6. But he'll make a great DPS Axie for one of the scholarship teams. So let's go ahead and look at this plant. This one also looks like 6 out of 6. So that's very nice there. Uh, he got the mint instead of the healing. Which isn't necessarily bad because it is a free 50 shield. So for PV p it's not bad for pve i prefer to have the shiitake mushroom that heals you and gives you the shield but for pvp getting a free 50 shield when you need it can be the difference between uh your tank axie getting taken out or not so pretty good axie like to see him go ahead next we got another bird and look at that we got a six out of six bird oh this is a beautiful looking bird here uh, I actually might take this one myself and put him on my team. Uh, as you can see, targets the fastest enemy, so if they got a bird, it's just going to be a beautiful way to attack that back one. We got ourselves uh, Heartbreak, Headshot, and Cool Breeze. Headshot's great because it does a lot of damage and it prevents them from using uh, their Horn card. And then, of course, these are high damage cards that give you a little bit of shield, which could help protect you if all you got left is your bird. And you're trying to take out two guys so overall this is a fantastic bird here uh, really happy that we managed to get this one especially since we only bred a five out of six so that's great let's go ahead and move to the next one let's see if he's loaded yet here he has so oh he got an insect part interesting well once again another beautiful set of cards same as the last one uh, not a six out of six only a five out of six but still very good cards not gonna complain about this kind of like those ears on them <laughs> kind of cute so we'll move on here let's go ahead to the fourth bird oh, another thing i didn't mention the white on this guy really like the white so let's go ahead and check out our fourth bird here oof Oh, <laughs> this guy's a little uh, mutant here. He did not get any good genes. <laughs> he is all over the place. Wow. So um, this is one of those like random gene ones where you can see the when I bred these two, I got a five out of six for the bird cards on the first one. That was the other white one. Uh, you can see here. He's a three out of three. Um, and he's not good for anything, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, target a bird. I mean, this will probably target a bird if there was one on there. Um, 80 damage, 60. I mean, skip the closest target if there's two or more. You could, I mean, he just doesn't have a lot of damage. Doesn't have that much shield. So this is kind of just a, a garbo, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of funny, but uh, this is just kind of like a garbo one. I don't know if I'll actually be able to use this one. It doesn't look like it'll be very effective. So we'll probably just sell this guy uh, and then use the extra money to buy, buy a better one. We'll buy a better one, but interesting. So now let's move on to the beasts. Both these were five out of five. Look at that. A six out of six beast. Love to see it. Love to see it. And a oh, and a very nice one too. By the way, uh, we got, you know, 
Ronin that does the uh, uh, guaranteed critical hit after two cards. You gain energy per critical strike. Then you got two Nutcracker cards. Uh, really can get the damage up on him. This guy will do a ton of damage. This is a beautiful card. Or I guess Axie, but... And I know just from looking at previous prices, this is a decently expensive Axie. So we really like this one. This is going to make a great addition. And then for breeding too, I mean... It's going to be a good way to breed since it's got a 6 out of 6. Oh, did this one not morph? Dang. All right, well... check real quick hopefully here okay did a quick morph um only a four out of six um what type do we get so attack up we got two nutcrackers which is good and this isn't bad um a lot of damage gives it a little bit of shield which is always a problem with uh beast axes is they usually do a lot of damage as you know use them as a support but they don't have a lot of cards that give them a lot of shield. So something like this uh, Nile Strike here. Still 90 damage. Look at that. Just a little bit below. But it gives them 60 shield. And here's a free 40 shield too. So, I mean, this isn't the worst card in the world. He'll play just fine uh, in a team as a support character. I mean, it's not bad. Only 4 out of 6 guess it's not the end of the world uh still not as bad as that one that was three out of three the bird the mutants uh still funny but yeah overall this card's not bad so let's go ahead add up see how much all these were kind of worth here so first things first we go in the marketplace we'll just compare prices uh the way i compare prices basically set the breed count down to zero since they're all fresh and then you check out the pureness so we had a one five out of six plants Turn that filter on. And then we'll look for the one that looks like it's got six plants here. So that one right there was about $200. Okay. And then we also had two six out of six plants. Which if we go to the very cheapest one here, it's $360 each. So right there in the plant axes, it looks like we have almost $1,000 fantastic and the thing is is i bred all those with slp that i had already earned from playing the game so essentially it didn't cost me a dime and i got a thousand dollars worth of just plant axes so let's go ahead and price check the birds go ahead and start off with uh i mean the junk axie is probably just going to be whatever the cheapest one is so i don't really know what the floor price is because a lot of these now aren't accurate because they just kind of stay on the marketplace um let's just say let's just put a hundred down we'll say a hundred for the mutant you know I might just keep him around just to keep him around he's kind of cool so we got that oh i guess breed count zero so even the junk ones here look like 120 but well yeah we'll we'll, we'll just keep it at a hundred so next up we got two five out of six birds go ahead and put the bird filter on pureness five looks like about 160 each and now look at this see this is why it's great if you can get a six out of six compared to a five out of six look at this the price jumps up to 310 dollars each so just about twice as much you can get um a six out of six bird cost twice as much as a five out of six so that's why if you can end up breeding a six out of six it's a way bigger win even though the five out of six birds they're not bad for when you're playing the game but if you're trying to sell and make money hitting one of those six out of six birds it's gonna double your money so always beautiful to see that and then we'll go ahead and check out the beasts beast was we had one that was four out of six looks like about 160 bucks for the four out of six it's actually not too bad for being four out of six and then we had a one six out of six looks about 240 so let's go ahead 
we'll add up all the prices here. We'll see how much we end up with here. So for the plants, we had $200. Oops. So we had $200 plus 360 times two. So that brought us up to, well, let's just go ahead and just add them all in. So then we got $920 for all the plant axes, for the beast axes, or the bird axes, my bad. Uh, the junk one was 100 plus two five out of six birds, which were about 160 each. And then we'll add in the six out of six bird, which was a hundred and or three hundred and ten dollars. So that's seven hundred and thirty dollars that we earned from the four bird axes. So, so far we made about $1,650 worth of axes. And then we'll add in our two beast axes, which was one was $160. That was the four out of six. And then we have the six out of six, which was $240. So that was 400 in beast axes. So we add that all up, just a little over $2,000 worth of axes that we bred. And mind you, I only spent, I think, about 700 small love potions breeding all those axes. So when you add that up, plus the price of the axie tokens, we profited well over $1,000 breeding. So you can make some good money here on Axie Infinity. Uh, you just need to get a lot of SLP. I mean, obviously, if you bought it, your profit would be cut down way more. But I'm playing the game. I have scholars that are playing the game as well. So it's kind of a win-win since I don't have to drop this money in. $2,000. That's going to be essentially enough for four scholars. I don't have to put $2,000 in. I just have $2,000 worth of axes that I earned from playing the game. So that's a really cool. I, I love it. Oh, here we go. I did the whole math off screen. I'm sorry. But... Here's, a, here's all the math on here. I accidentally had that on the wrong screen, so you guys didn't see that. But anyway, add it all up, $2,050 from nine axes. So let's go ahead and just divide that by nine. So we earned on average $227 per axie, which is pretty good. And like I said, all these axes, um, they're all going to be going to scholarships. So we got tanks. We got support. I also have some more support guys down here. Um, and of course, uh, the DPS. So we got three, maybe four scholarships we'll be able to put together with this. Uh, next week, once the SLP payments come out, I'll be breeding a ton more. So we'll be able to get a ton more scholarships in there. So if you're looking for a scholarship, make sure you look down in the comments to see how you do that. There's a video. Go watch it. Put your information in. Uh, right now we have six scholars. We'll be adding more in here uh, this week. And then following two weeks, we'll be adding more and more and more. So if you're looking for a scholarship, do that. Uh, also, we do SLP giveaways and an Axie giveaway at the end of the month. Uh, so subscribe uh, if you want to be updated for whenever that happens so that you can be entered to win an Axie or some SLP. So hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Uh, I kind of like doing it. It was cool cracking open all those eggs, seeing what we got. So I hope everybody has a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.